morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney. And I'm Zach. And it's great to be back. We're excited to have you here back. Here at the Stalls TV <laughs> Morning Show. It feels like I've been gone forever, but really appreciate the invite to come back after I embarrassed you that one time. <laughs> now, that was a joke. Uh, today, we're going to be talking all about logos on the Stalls TV Morning Show. And you could also say just artwork in general. Ted Stahl has a saying um, that he has ingrained into us that artwork sells shirts. We launched a poll at the beginning of the show, and I'm interested to hear the results on if how much of a customer's artwork are you actually dealing with. Are you using templates? Are you designing? Or is your customer bringing artwork to you? So if Joe can give us the results of this morning's poll, that would be great. OK, so the question was, what percentage of logos do you work with that are customer provided? Okay. And the results are 56 percent um, or customer provided with uh, 0 to 25, 28 percent for 25 to 50 percent, 17 percent at 50 to 75 percent. Is that enough percentages for you guys? I think so. So it sounds like um, not a majority of our viewing audience is dealing with custom logos. Well, you're dealing with them, but not a large percentage of the time. Hopefully, after today's episode, one, you'll be more comfortable dealing with customer-provided artwork, and two, you'll be able to make more money, uh, and we'll teach you some ways to take that customer-provided artwork and kind of increase the value um, of your sale. So I'll let you kick things off with where we're going. Yeah, so part of the sales process um, and really just being successful in, in close ratio has a lot to do with how you're presenting the customer's artwork and the logos, whether that's um, the items that you're presenting it on, so the variety of items, the technologies you're using, so how diverse is the technology that you offer and how does that look to your customer. Mm -hmm. And all of that really translates um, into successful customers and what makes you successful as a decorator and your salespeople successful and how they present that. And so we work a lot with decorators that present um, logos in this way and they've done it in a really successful way. They've been able to make a lot of money and really increase their profits. So what do you think are one of the ra main reasons, I guess, that their close ratios are so high when they present logos in this wide range? Um, I think it is something that a lot of us struggle with as well, and I think it's giving the customer the vision uh, for what it's actually going to look like. So what we'll recommend to you and we'll kind of show you as we, as we go throughout uh, today's episode is showing a customer's logo actually finished on the garment in different finishes. And what that does is it helps them visualize what it's going to look like. I know me personally, if we're decorating a room or trying to furnish it or something like that, I have trouble visualizing what it's going to look like. So if I'm trying to say, will this paint color look right uh, in this particular room, I, I have difficulty with that. I need to see it to believe it. And I think that helps the close ratio with providing a customer's logo actually on the garment to where they can see it, feel it, touch it. It gives them uh, the vision and gives them the confidence basically to spend the money that you're going to treat their logo with respect and uh, give them a product that, that they can appreciate and give to their customers. Yeah, I definitely agree that, the, that seeing their logo on the item is going to definitely sell them a little bit more than just seeing a blank with somebody else's logo or just a blank in general. Mm -hmm. um, for me personally, if I see items printed with multiple items in my logo, I'm much more likely to not only buy that t-shirt I originally wanted, but I'm going to add the sweatshirt and I'm going to add the hat and I'm going to add the bag and I'm going to add everything because I'm so excited to see my logo across multiple items and that's what I think really drives up profits is when you can sell more to each customer. Yeah, and that um, is the basis for a lot of the online generators. If you go and, and order your garments um, online, you'll see a lot of the leaders in the industry right now give you the ability to throw your logo on a bunch of different items. And lucky for you guys, we're actually going to show you how to do that as we get closer uh, to the end of the episode to where you can do that um, for your customers as well and kind of drive up those things. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about since logos uh, was the topic, and it was kind of fortuitous that it was the topic for us today. We have an article that's going to be published in Printware Magazine in February that talks about uh, a product we're calling a super transfer. And what a super transfer is, is when you take two different transfer technologies that are good in and of themselves, and you put them together to create something uh, what we think is better or a super transfer. So we have some pictures uh, that we took for that particular article that's coming up and we'd just like to run you through those and show you how you can increase the value of a customer's logo um, this way. So the first one we're going to look at is, you can see on your screen, is the Future Raider. Now typically you would just either screen print this design or print it digitally. So this particular customer provided us a series of logos, which is three of the four 
that we're going to look at today and asked us to take these logos and create something new or different that they could sell for more money but put on the same items that, that they were currently decorating. So normally this customer would digitally print this using a solvent or eco-solvent print cut machine. It would just be a flat color and they would apply it to their shirt for 15 to 20 seconds depending on the application time. All it took was a print cut machine and a heat press or a transfer and a heat press. What we did is we took the logo, we ran it through a print and cut process, but we used a clear material as our base. So we're putting it on a white or a light garment and this clear material allows the color of the garment to show through and it gave a much softer finish when it was actually applied to the shirt. But we took a small portion of the design, the future portion, and we cut that out of CAD cut flock just to give some texture, uh, to add some perceived value to the item. Yeah, this is a huge trend we're seeing where you're adding kind of a dimensional effect or a different um, effect to the item and presenting it to your customer in a unique way. So just taking that one little element, that one small piece of text, and it completely changes the logo. And um, I think you have some interesting ideas on cost. So what does it cost to produce something like this? Normally, let's say I would screen print it or even just print it with the print and cut mm -hmm. technology. What does it do when I add this? small image. Uh, when you add the small image, it actually doesn't change the cost all that much. That uh, piece of flock that we put on there probably added 15 to 30 cents um, to that particular logo in our material cost or your material cost to the customer. However, the application, it actually changes your bottom layer you put down for less time and you put the top layer on for the full amount of time, which the details are actually given in that article that will be published in Printware uh, in February, so you guys can grab those from that. But it doesn't add much application time. Your operator just does two hits with the uh, digital transfer on the bottom and the flock transfer on top. Add a lot of value for about 30 cents and maybe an extra 15 seconds on press. Okay, great. So little time, little cost, and we're able to sell that for let's say five, ten dollars more per shirt just in the adding that small extra effect. It's really worth it. And sometimes it may even just be the difference between closing a deal with a, a school or you know being able to show something different when you add that little bit of a popular trendy mm -hmm. finish to it. So that's great. Yeah, and that finish right there, obviously that was a children's design that we were looking at. If you walk into one of the most popular uh, tweens retailers, mm -hmm. Justice, all over their shelves are this mixed media look. And you know they're selling shirts for $20, 25 right. upwards of $30 for a t-shirt with right. two different finishes on it. All right, let's take a look at the next design. All right, so this is Carlisle Bison, and all we did here is we took the print and cut process and we printed on a metallic base instead of a flat white base. And the metallic that we actually printed on is called Supertech Gold Shift. So this material also changes color with the material that it is applied to. So underneath of that Gold Shift, instead of applying directly to the red shirt, we applied it to a white piece of fashion film. So we can build predictability into what the shift is going to be. So if we know we're always applying to white fashion film or metallic silver or whatever it is that we want to apply to, we can build predictability into the process. But a metallic finish always adds value over the flat. Yeah, I recently started working with a lot of promotional product companies that have seen a huge um, growth just by adding and printing on a metallic finish versus a regular flat matte finish and just changing the logo completely. Um, we've seen that even this year with the 50th anniversary of the NFL with all of the metallic gold, that's completely shifting the way a logo looks and the way that people want to buy logos. They want that finish. It's a little bit different from looks like a basic screen print or a basic matte finish. Right, and it's easy to achieve because the process is exactly the same. It's just changing the base material that we're printing on. So there's really no additional cost except for what the metallic material uh, cost you. The process is exactly the same. All right, let's take a look at the next one. All right, so to expand on kind of that same idea, this is actually just a printable glitter. It's called um, Perform Printable Glitter from, actually, in Printables Warehouse sells this, but it completely changes the logo because we're printing um, on a solvent or eco-solvent printer those same inks that would normally go on our flat white material, but this time we decided to print it on a gold glitter. So it just completely upgrades the image and changes the way it looks when you have this full color glitter effect. Yeah, and if you don't have access to this, uh, to a print cut machine or the print cut material that we're talking about, another way to achieve this look is through the sublimated glitter flake that we've showed you on previous episodes where you get your sublimation transfer from stalls and combine it with the white glitter flake material. You can get a very similar finish to what we're showing here. Let's move on to our last graphic. All right, so we're looking at the Dynamo design, and we showed you this one uh, just a couple episodes ago, I believe. 
And this was the basis for where our super transfer article came from. It is a digital print on the bottom, and we're adding a pop of glitter to the design, which again is going to add five, maybe upwards of ten dollars to um, our garment sale price but is really only pennies on the dollar and what it's going to cost us to produce this. Yeah, this is one, I mean, all of these are great ways to upgrade logos, but this is one way that really is super easy for decorators to just add one small image or one small design change that really elevates the logo and changes it completely when you add that glitter or that textured finish to a full color logo. Yeah, absolutely. So we've shown you four different logos with different finishes. Um, Josh actually took some time out of his schedule at the SGIA show to walk through a presentation that we have in Booth that our Cherry Show um, marketing team put together. And it is a customer's logo put over all those different items that you were talking about earlier with a bunch of different finishes. So we're going to take a couple minutes and watch that presentation from Josh and kind of talk about how powerful it can be afterwards. Hi, this is Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV coming to you live from the SGIA Expo here in Atlanta and wanted to talk a little bit about this display we have in the booth showcasing different ways to finish a single logo across different decorating disciplines. It's a good way to get some perspective of different decorating options that are out there. So number one, we have a screen printed transfer on our first design. The beauty of this is it comes to you manufactured on a sheet. All you do is heat press it for four seconds and you have a wonderful result. It looks just like screen printing on the shirt because it is plastisol ink. Number two is heat transfer film. And in this particular case, we have a mixed media design where you're also getting a pop of flock. So layering heat transfer films and mixed media has been a big trend in the industry and here at the show. And with a vinyl cutter and a heat press, you can create looks like this, even onto performance fabrics with low temp adhesives. Next, we go to the bag. And the idea is with heat printing, you can absolutely heat print anything with the right heat press. And this is a digital transfer made from our Stalls Tech heat transfer film. So it's a low temp adhesive that will stick to practically anything. Um, this particular one was heat pressed on a fusion heat press, but it's a great way to get full color detail. You're getting colors and gradients in this design in a phenomenal look. And as we start to progress towards digital technologies that are print and cut like this, there's also the print and press technology of sublimation. Uh, you need to use a white or light colored polyester fabric, but the idea here is we just print and press this digital image as long as the polyester blank can accept the temperature of sublimation, but looks and feels phenomenal. If you have an embroidery machine and want to get into those applications, at Stalls we can do the traditional cut applique pieces for you out of twill, um, create a sew file with a zigzag or a satin stitch, and it's a great way to sort of step up the look to establish a new price point for a logo. And then lastly, ripaway applique. So you get the higher price point, but you get less labor in the process. With ripaway applique, you simply place a panel on your embroidery machine of material, sew out a satin stitch, and tear it away. And with Stahl's heat transfer films, you can utilize that process. So just a little bit of concept of a bunch of different things you can do with your decorating business with one customer's logo. And hopefully this gives you ideas on how to present and sell more. Thanks for watching. So that is an extremely uh, powerful section of our trade show booth. From a stall's perspective, when you guys walk in, we can show you all the different ways that you can decorate items, all the different finishes you can get with basically just a heat press and combining that with some other technologies. But for you to take a customer's logo and put it on that many items, just imagine, um, as you said earlier, how much stuff <laughs> they're going to want to buy from you once you're able to show them that. However, that can be uh, an extremely expensive investment to take every customer's logo and put right. it on all of those things. <laughs> and sometimes it's difficult to deal with customer logos in the first place. If you are in that 56% that isn't accepting customer logos, maybe because it's difficult, you can check out some of the CADWorks Live uh, tutorial videos on stallstv.com maybe after the episode. And we can teach you there how to take a customer logo and make it print ready. But what Courtney is going to show you today is once it's print ready, how to actually provide virtual samples to where you don't have to invest all of the money in all of these different items, but you can still show a customer what their logo is going to look like on an item. So I'll turn it over to you for that. Thanks. So I think, I mean, I really think that's a really powerful statement and just being able to say, I sh I'm strong enough to print all of these items. So it shows your strength as a decorator. If you can show logos across all of these items, so you're not just printing t-shirts and maybe performance wear, but you're printing bags and all of those items. And so Sometimes you have to just create virtual samples because, like you said, it's just not cost effective mm -hmm. to create them all the time. So I'm going to switch over to my screen 
so we can see the CADWORKS Live example. Um, so CADWORKS Live is just a free online designer. Basically, you can get access to it by visiting cadworkslive.com and creating a free account, um, free to all Stalls customers, so all of you should have access to it uh, if you ever set up an account with Stalls. So with this, I'm just going to create a quick logo so we can kind of see how I would create virtual samples for both a basic sample as well as a um, upgraded sample when I want to show finishes like maybe a glitter texture because as you guys saw in a lot of the photos, those textures sell garments and being able to show that you have that finish option rather than just saying, oh yeah, picture this in glitter. So I'm just going to create a quick text design for say a school logo that tends to be the market that I transition to a lot. Um, so if I'm creating a cell sheet or creating um, virtual samples for a school, I'm just going to create the logo in a quick text version. CalWorks Live has a ton of clip art and templates and things that you can get started with to create designs from scratch when you really want something that's robust. So if I want to take um, the logo and put MHS football, MHS cheer, I can do all of that um, using CadWorks Live. It is um, internet based, we'll go ahead and let that render real quick. Um, it's an internet based software, so it does run off of a Wi-Fi, so sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the logo to appear. Give it just a second there to show up. Still rendering, let's start from scratch again. I'm a little impatient, you guys will learn that over time. I'm sure a lot of you are as well. We all know that in the office already. <laughs> See if either of those will show up. There it goes. So I got at least one here I can start with to show you guys. Oh, I got two, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so this will give us our examples to be able to make the virtual samples. So let's say, I take this text image and I just want it to be a screen printed finish in royal blue since that's the MHS school color um, or one of the school colors. I'll just select from my color palette over here the color royal blue and that'll re-adjust um, the color to my MHS design here. Now to create a virtual sample, of course, just being able to show the logo is not enough. You want to show it on a variety of items. So you can pull um, items, blank items from either your supplier or any source on the internet if you're buying from Sanmar or Boxercraft or um, leads for promotional products. Um, so I'm going to go to the Sanmar website. It's one we use often because we really like the flat shots. So my basic design I want to show the school is just a 100% cotton t-shirt, something that's very simple that they can add um, just for a basic design for those people that just want the down and dirty, basic, cost-effective, simple um, matte finish, whether it's a screen printed design or a CAD cut transfer. All right, so I'm going to go with a t-shirt. This one's a little bit more of a, a heathered finish. I'm a big fan of the heathered finishes. If you guys have watched recent morning shows, you've probably seen us showing a lot of that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the gray and the jet black for my blank garment. You can see Sanmar does have a variety of model shots. I prefer to take that flat shot and save the image down to my computer. And you can save it anywhere. If you have a folder with all of your blank garments, you can save it to your desktop, whatever makes most sense um, for where you like to save images. I save everything to my desktop. At some point, you can't even see the background, so I'm going to save it there. And then once I have my images saved and I know what I want to put in for my virtual sample, I'll go back to CadWorks Live, click File, and Import. So I can import any JPEG, any um, vector image into CADWORKS Live, and so I'll do that the same way I would if I wanted to bring a piece of artwork in. Import, I'll browse my computer until I can bring open the garment, and then that's going to drop my garment onto my screen. So now, um, you can see if I slide this over the logo, it's showing in front of it. So I'm just going to right click, send to back, and then I can create my virtual sample for my basic cotton t-shirt. Now that gives me my basic finish, but like I said, I want to be able to show that I have um, a variety of items I can print and then I can do more than just basic finishes on cotton t-shirts. So I'm going to take that same logo and I'm going to add a glitter textured effect to it. So to add any pattern or textured effect, all you need to do is reopen the text image or the clip art image that you've selected. And you're going to go into the fill. So right now the fill of this image is just a standard black color and I can change my, st my solid color as well in this um, area. So if I just wanted to change it to the matte royal, I could do that here. I can add gradient effects, and I can even add what's called textures. And so when I think of the glitter finishes and pattern finishes, I think of textures. So I can import in new glitter JPEGs or images from that I want to use, or I can select from ones I've used in the past. I've used the royal blue here in the past, so I'm going to select that. 
And again, now that drops in and creates my virtual sample, so this is much more impactful than being able to show just a basic matte finish. I'll click OK. And then again, I'm going to go back to the CMR website, and I want to complete this look by being able to show them what else I can do when I upgrade the logo. So I'm going to look for a more fashionable um, ladies item. Maybe I'll look for a fleece or a sweatshirt. Very quickly, this looks like a nice hooded sweatshirt. Let's see if we can get a back shot here. Beautiful. So even fronts and backs are available. Sure, I like neon green. Let's stick with that color. That'll look nice with the royal blue. And just as a side note, you'll notice as I'm saving these images that Sandmar saves them by product name. So if you go to reorder your items, you're trying to remember what product you used, that's a great way to remember that when you save the images down. Once I have the garment I've selected, I'll just go back to CADWorks Live, import it in by using the browse function. And again, it drops in the front, so I want to send it to back. And now we've got a virtual sample that I can send out to my customers. So it really creates that different look. And now they're starting to see, not only do I offer t-shirts, but I offer sweatshirts, and I can offer a variety of finishes. So it really expands on what you can offer. Um, I might get this question, so I'm going to go ahead and answer it um, before you guys get the chance to ask it. Where can you get the glitter JPEG swatches? Um, soon they're going to be available on StallsTV.com. Um, right now, if you're looking for them immediately to start implementing this process, you can um, email us at tv at stalls.com and we will shoot them back to you guys with a link so you can download the images and really start implementing this in your business. Yeah, so about five minutes and you design the graphic and drop it onto two different virtual samples with two different finishes. Yeah. So uh, I think that's pretty powerful for you guys to use. So visit cadworkslive.com, play around with it. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be doing it as quickly uh, <laughs> as, as Courtney did. Now that pretty much wraps up our episode today on logos. We're super excited for next week's episode. It, can you tell everybody why? Maybe everybody already knows, and I'm I late to the so. game. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe so. It's um, next week is our Happy Holidays episode, so we're preparing for um, the Christmas holiday, and in that, we're giving away a Fusion heat press, which is exciting. I'm sure all of you have that on your list this year of things that you want from Santa. So we're going to deliver it to one lucky Stalls TV member. So if you haven't gone to the Stalls TV forum yet, that's where you'll go to register. So you visit StallsTV.com, go over to the forum page and introduce yourself. So you'll see under the introduce yourself section a whole stall, stall a days giveaway. You'll get to learn about all of the people that have entered so far, enter yourself, and then you just need to post two more places on the forum. So the forum is actually incredibly active. There's a lot of apparel decorators that are new, a lot of really experienced 30 plus years decorators that are getting on there. They're giving advice and so you can either post two new questions that maybe you have um, or you can even respond to people if you have the answer of what they're looking for. So it's really great. Yeah, not only can you guys benefit from each other's expertise, but we are also on there answering questions regularly. So if you want advice from the experts here at the Stalls TV studios, you can post in the forums and get your answers basically within 24 hours. Yep, absolutely. So we're excited for next week, and then we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.